Oh yeah, Ryan Hart says that uh, that Problem X beat Justin in Canada Cup in Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, did you that. say yeah, that? Yeah, okay. I mentioned that. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. Go. I mentioned that. Yeah, he's looking. He's, he looked real good in that last game that he played. Oh, someone told me right now, after Problem X defeated Justin, no one is 100% on the SRK Fantasy bracket. <laughs> That's there great. Not, there is not a single bracket that has predicted what has happened so far. That's great. Out of all the bracket predictions. All right, so again in Losers Now, we have AGE Snake Eyes against EG Momochi. And I think this is a pretty smart pick here, uh, Cody rather than Akuma. Uh, I like Cody in this match. I feel like his normals are pretty strong against Geef, even though he doesn't have the best wake-up game. For the most part, Geef, Geef pretty gets gets real knockdowns that he can you know, do real meaty mix-ups on pretty rarely. Someone also mentioned that Mago eliminated Problem X in loser's bracket already off stream. Yeah? Oh, you must be right. Uh, you, are, you are totally right. It was 2-0. Wow. So thanks to uh, John for letting me know about that. So Alion, the only non-Asian player besides Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes, Alion, the last two left. Yeah, look at this zoning and defense right here. Oh no, what was that from Snake Eyes that he got hit by that? Oh wow, he just went for the SVD, didn't work. And then a good trade for Momochi to take that round. He has a couple normals that are really good anti-air against Geef. Fierce roundhouse, well, back strong, obviously. He's got a lot of options. Uh, the you know the ruffian kick, the high ruffian kick. It's it's you know pretty hard for Geef to get in in this. Well, she backing up. This is a much earlier corner than we saw in the last round, which is good for Snake Eyes. Well, Snake Eyes just staring at Momochi. There's that back strong. Great reaction for that back strong anti-air. Problem for Cody is that he can't really get out of the corner unless he just pushes Snake Eyes away like this. You know, he doesn't really have like some auto escape kind of button. But he's doing really well from there. Has not seemed out of it when he's in the corner here. Great sweep. Oh my Watch gosh. For stun. Close to Dizzy. This actually might stun. No. Almost, almost. Still no. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I thought he would had been blocking <laughs> that whole time. Maybe he'd just been standing there. Not quite dead yet. We're gonna need one more. And Momochi fighting from the corner. What's he gonna do to get out of this? He can't trade anymore. That's not really an option at this point. So I'm not sure how he's gonna escape this corner <laughs> situation. Oh, nice. Just patience, patience, patience. Momochi threw three rocks at him. Sometimes the best strategy against multiple projectiles is to walk up and block every single one of them. Because it, unner it, un it unnerves your opponent. You know, that you're able to show that kind of patience and not falling, not getting baited to do anything else. All right, Snake Eyes getting in there. Oh, nice anti-air. Oh, oh, got big a free stun. stun. Boom, it's not over yet, SPD. but this is going to be close. It's one mix-up away here. What's Momochi gonna say in response? Oh! A back throw. I've never seen that. I think that is the smartest jump. thing I've seen from a Geef in quite a while. And he saved that because I've seen him play a lot. When Geefs do that setup, they're always looking for the cross up, the fierce or the jump short knees at least. Mm -hmm. And he pressed a button that whiffs from there. Yeah. Most of Geefs' buttons don't whiff from there. <laughs> and so it, that's, that's so smart. And Snake Eyes going 1-0 over Momochi, and it looks like Momochi is going for the character. Did Kate. he switch to Akuma? I think so. You're yes, right. he did. Okay, well, we'll see whether this does better for him. Wow. Jump, medium kick. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then I love the fact that he went for the regular throw, knowing it was going to kill instead of going for an SPD, because if Momochi had neutral jump, he would have been able to punish the SPD, but not the neutral jump. So smart stuff from Snake Eyes knowing he didn't need the SPD damage, so going for the safer option. Oh no, that's a bad thing. Oh wow, he was too far Whoa. for close fierce. Yeah, that's something that will happen sometimes. <laughs> you, usually to punish that, you want to go with non-directional, or non-proximity uh, normals. Right. Crouching attack. Yeah. Trying to chase down the teleport. Now, we remember we saw Snake Eyes have trouble in this fight against Infiltration. Right. See if Momochi can keep this going. 
Snake Eyes doing? Oh, he had a huge opportunity in that situation. Ooh, nice wow. dragon. Oh, yeah. that was so dangerous because of that Ultra 2 that Snake Eyes had. Yeah. Now Momochi's got to be careful. He's got to only EX uppercut whenever Zangief jumps at him to make sure he can stop Ultra 2. Yeah, how's Snake Eyes getting past this? And can Momochi keep it up? Oh, chased him down wow. and he baited the uppercut out and Snake Eyes is now one round away from eliminating Momochi from the tournament. What patience right there after landing that hit and he just stood there and watched the Kuma fly into the air. Snake Eyes playing out of his mind right now. Played so strong at the LA tournament, was able to defeat Justin Wong, and here is on the verge of defeating Momochi, but it's still a long road ahead of him, because if Momochi can win two rounds in a row, that does a lot to your mental psyche. Yeah, momentum can be very important. But you know, last round, Momochi had a pretty decent lead. It looked like he was doing really well against Snake Eyes, and you know, Zangief just does damage in huge chunks. Right. Ooh, no EX green hand. Oh, nice, got through there. And again. Oh, okay, can Momochi regular get out of there? Cut. So risky. Okay, he's out. He's yeah. trying to use the infiltration. You saw he's just doing meaty red fireball. Ooh, <laughs> and it's the fierce one too. Look at that chunk. Vanilla Zangief tactics and oh, he's too far. Is he's that fierce? too far. That's enough. And that's Boom. it. Snake Eyes Zangief has sent Momochi out of the tournament. Wow, that was a smart play for Momochi to go for the super because if you're close enough, you can't jump away. But he just wasn't close enough. Snake Eyes just barely too far. Jump backwards. And you can hear the chant you can hear the of chant. you. He is the best Zangief in the world.